We're looking at the 3 to F lesson, the third problem, which says use the pattern to complete the following. In the previous lessons, we had included stage zero up at the top of the table, even though it wasn't written. And we start to see that that's now incorporated in the tables. Stage one, two, four, six, seven, has seven blocks. Stage two, has nine blocks. Stage three has 11. And so now we're gonna figure out how does this pattern or table behave or operate? As we think, we'll also fill in these ordered pairs in the third column. All right, so it seems like as I go from one stage to the next, I am adding two, so plus two. We'll also do that in the table. That is new in this lesson that we're adding these hoops that show our rate of change. And that means that we need a number, feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast. We need a number for stage zero that when I add two gets me to seven. And that number is five. So we would have stage zero, if we wanted to draw it, would have five blocks. Like that, something like that, because it seems like they're adding them on the top. And then we'll include our ordered pair, which is zero, five. And we'll start to look at the other questions. All right, we're going to make our graph. Our graph starts at 0, 5, and it's 1, 7, 2, 9, 3. So actually, it might be easier now to just use our rate of change so we don't need to look at the table. It is also the table stops at some point, but this graph keeps going. All right, and it says that state the rate of change. So our rate of change is two over one or two. We found that in the graph, that was our staircase. It went up two boxes, one, two, and right one. And we also found it in our table. It was up two, that was our rise, and up one, which was our run. So we rose two and we ran one, which corresponds to what's in the graph. Then we're going to identify our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is where the graph starts. So that is, it was also in our table, 0, 5. And then what we saw in the previous lesson, if you recall, or if not, what we kind of talked about was that the rate of change goes here and the y-intercept goes here. Our rate of change is two and our y-intercept is five. So we got our equation. And then we're gonna answer a follow-up question, which is, is this linear? We've been asked a lot of questions about, is something proportional or non-proportional, but now we're talking about linear. So for the table, we'll say, what we were looking for was the hoops the hoops meaning the rate of change. So there is a constant rate of change, which was two. And I guess we should also include over here that the answer is yes, this is linear, and we're gonna provide two answers. So it's linear because it has a constant rate of change, a constant growth rate, and for the graph, we could almost put the same answer or we could say the graph is linear. If we just look at it, we can see that this is a straight line, one straight line. 
So our test for linear, different than our test for proportional or non-proportional, is we need a constant rate of change. Or for a graph, it just needs to look like somebody lined up a ruler and with one swipe of their pencil drew in that line.